Checking out the new gold shell, AEIOU. It's a brand new miner from them that is definitely not called that. What is this thing called? Gold shell EAE1M. This is the gold shell EAE1M. It's a brand new alien miner. It's the next evolution of alien mining. And I think just like a lot of things that have evolved over time, it's going to float down the icy river to extinction pretty soon. Transparency time. Gold Shell sent me this miner as part of an ongoing just relationship we have together. They don't get to tell me what to say in this video. I didn't get any speaking points or anything. They don't even get to see this video before I post it. So all the opinions are on my own. And I, I think I'm going to be probably a little harsh on Gold Shell in this one, though this miner may look really good at face value right now. You absolutely have to take into account things to come in the future. Uh, and we're going to go through all of that in this video. But where we should start is just by taking a look uh, at this miner. And it's, you know, kind of like a familiar setup. These, are, I think, are called their Echo series. Very familiar to, like, the Flu Miner or the Jazz Miners. But um, denser, I think. It's heavy. It's a heavy unit. So we'll just take a look. You know, there's not much happening on the top here. I think it's really designed uh, to be in a server rack and not necessarily vertical doesn't have feet or anything to be vertical it's got its warnings on the top right there nothing much uh exciting going on there and then just kind of same story just blank on the bottom here but where you get a little bit more exciting is when you flip it over onto the back you can see the two fans here and then another fan here which is probably power supply whereas these two you can see the heat sinks behind there this has got to be where all the ASIC chips are. Wi-Fi antennas included, Ethernet, power button. And what you'll notice here, this thing runs on 220 or 240 volts. So you need this special power cord here uh, either to go to a 20 amp circuit and plug setup or into really a PDU is best on a 30 amp circuit, which is what we'll be doing here in a second. And then flipping it over to take a look at the front of the unit. You can see, again, two fans uh, right in the front there. So we'll see. Probably pulling air in the front is what the jazz miners do. And then out the back. Uh, and then really just empty space here for the power supply behind there. And then you got some status lights in the front. No filtration at all. Really similar to all the other units that look like this. So it's going to collect a ton of dust. So you have to keep that clean over time. But like I said, I really think this one... Is designed, you can see even the text on it, on the status symbol, uh, lights there. It's really designed to be on its uh, flat side inside of a uh, rack mount. And they do include the ears if you want to rack mount it uh, into whatever you got. There it is. It fits right on there. Screws in and you can put it in a rack system. Get multiple of these. You know, rack your jazz miners, your flu miners, whatever else you got. Uh, in there as well but that's pretty much it so what we'll do now is let's get this thing plugged in fired up and see what it's made of hoodies off because i think it's going to get pretty hot in here at the 2000 watts of power this thing puts out let's power it on see what we get i don't know how loud these fans are going to be in this we're going to take a look here in a second it's doing something It's like a dying animal inside this thing. It's gonna be loud. That is awful. Okay, it's not so bad now. Oh, it's getting up there. It's a loud boy. When it goes to like lower RPM, it's like a like a cat at your window trying to get inside. It's really unhappy. All right, we got to see uh, if we can find this thing in the computer. Stop it mining to whatever address it's mining to right now. We'll take a look at some of this performance, specs, profitability, and I'm gonna give you my opinions. Don't worry, we're gonna get there later in this video. It's not too bad right now. You don't want it in your room. We should do a tissue test. The rear exhaust. Yes. There it is. That's pretty strong. 
looks like a little cape for it. Like that. All right, now the front intake. Yep, that's that's gone. It's pulling some. It's pulling some some air here. Let's see how far back we can do it. That's pretty good. Bull Chill and I didn't talk about this part of the video. Yeah, um, I hope that gives you a sense if you were to hold a tissue up to it at your home, what it would be like. All right, where am I? What am I doing here? Let's go computer, computer time. We're gonna go to find.goldshell.com. Uh, okay, yeah, there it is, Goldshell EAE1M. Let's go check out the dashboard here. We'll switch that over to English. And we gotta unlock it. Put it in the default password here. Um, cool. All right, so we'll come back to these stats, I think, in a second, but I wanna stop paying whoever this is first and get my own pool in there. So we'll remove that pool. We're gonna add in zk.work. And now, if I remember, I gotta head over to zk.work. Now I can actually hear myself making this video. I gotta head over here and I gotta make a new um, API token for this miner. So I'll go ahead and click an alia one. And we're gonna call this one the EAE1M. This thing is like purring next to me right now. It's so odd. Okay, confirm that. So let's copy that API token and then we got to throw it back over in here. It's, I, I, this is so distracting. Do you hear it? <laughs> it's, all right, keep going. Let's get that pool set, get that mine in again. It'll come up in a second here. There it is over on the Gold Shell Web UI. You can see it's doing 233 mega hash per second and in mining this algorithm, this is gonna fluctuate quite a bit over time. It's something to keep in mind there. It's also reported over on zk.work, 249 mega hash per second. Though so again, this is gonna fluctuate over time. So really need probably over a day in order to tell exactly average hash rate, but I'm happy with where it's at right now. Let's go take a look at what Gold Shell advertises for this miner. It says that it can do 230 mega hash per second, which is around exactly what we're doing. Uh, and it also says it does that at 2000 watts, which I just took a look over on the PDU. It says it's doing 1,927 watts right now. So I am coming in a little less on wattage, which is good. That means it's running a little bit more efficient than probably the average yield on these types of miners. But just keep in mind that price right there, $3,409. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just power this off. It's gonna go in the garage when I'm done making this video. Uh, but we gotta talk numbers here, we gotta talk opinions, we gotta talk future, we gotta talk Alio ASIC miners. Looking at the list of Alio miners over on Mining Now, there's quite a story here, and I think there's still a story yet to come, which is why you should be very cautious before you jump in and invest any of your money into any of this. Now, it all started back with the Gold Shell AE box. They were first to market with an actual ASIC miner for Alio. Now, Ice River announced theirs the same exact time as Gold Shell, yet pretty much nobody that I've seen has the Ice River AE0 in their hands yet, though I think it's gonna be happening any day now. But that AE box is still doing really well, coming in at making almost $6 a day at a 10 cent electric rate, and I have it, it's doing great. I have a video on it, I'll leave it linked up in the card above. So Gold Shell, first to market, and then you can see on this list here, they absolutely just dominate in the amount of miners that are currently available. We have the Byte, many different versions of the AE box. Then we got the EAE1M, which is what we just spent this whole video talking about. And they also announced the AE Max, which is just another level up from, from this to make more of a classic style ASIC miner. And then Ice River, has entered the game and announced the same time as Gold Shell yet hasn't shipped anything yet. But what you see here, I want you to take a look at the efficiency differences between these miners. I mean, they're not even close. The best Gold Shell efficiency, it says it's on actually this miner that I have right here, which is 8.7 joules per mega hash, but the Ice River miners are coming in at 1.67. 
So if the landscape gets dominated by Ice River chips, then Gold Shell is just getting completely kicked out of the market and any profitability is what I think is going to happen. But when you take a look at profitability, I mean, that's the really exciting part of all of this. I mean, every Alio miner is making money. They just are. And the one that I have here right next to me is making $35 a day, which you just haven't seen that amount of money being made in profit in crypto mining in quite a long time. So it's like a really exciting thing. And I'm really excited to have this and be able to make that money while it lasts. And I'm grateful for the opportunity that Gold Shell has provided me. But what is going to happen from here? Uh, and what does the future bring? Well, we know iServer is going to drop their stuff. It's going to happen. And if you see the AE1 light here, that means that there's definitely going to be an AE1 not light that comes out, which will likely be more of a classic style ASIC miner. But the other thing that you just always got to keep in mind is two years ago, Bitmain plans to launch the Alio Ant Miner on their blog. Like they, before Alio was even in mainnet launch, when they were still in testnet, Bitmain uh, announced that they plan to launch the Alio Ant Miner, which, I mean, Bitmain makes great ASICs. They just do. They make really efficient ASICs, which is going to kick all of these box style, echo style, whatever style home miners out of the game. They just are. The big boys are going to win like they always do. That's what's going to happen here. And there's nothing within Alio that is going to stop it unless the price went up dramatically. But even if it did, more miners would come online from the big boys and they would just suck up all of those profits. Like that's just what happens again and again and again. I think the only thing that might be possible is if you got in on this early enough and took the risk and paid probably a fair amount for a miner, you might be doing okay. I mean, I think if you got in with one of the AE boxes way back months ago when it first shipped, you're probably doing all right. And if you have one, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. But to get involved now, thinking about like ROI and break even, that's really tough. That's a really tough pill to swallow. But to get involved now, if you want to maybe just be mining and you love it as a hobby and you want to get in and learn, learn about a different cryptocurrency, maybe than the ones you have been mining, Start with one of the small miners. Start with that Ice River AE0. If an AE box or bite is at the right price for you, sure, start there. But it's hard to recommend Gold Shell right now when Ice River is coming in so strong with, with a ridiculously better efficiency. And what I'm curious about is just how all that works behind the scenes. And if you know, please let me know. And if you want to be anonymous, send me an email, contact at redfoxcrypto.com. Because I'm so curious how the pipeline and the R&D work behind all of this. They just have to have different chip manufacturers, not one central one that is making chips and they're putting them in their own boxes because of the, there's just crazy difference in uh, the efficiency and performance of the Ice River chips versus Gold Shell. So, I mean, Gold Shell, I, I love you guys. Put out some fun miners. Um, but I, I mean, Ice River is going to just dominate. They just, they just are. And I, I mean, I can't see the future. I don't have the crystal ball, but like everything is telling me that. But I, I would love to hear from all of you. What do you think is going to happen here? Do you think Ice River is going to come in and just kick Gold Shell way out of the market? What do you think about Gold Shell even creating a miner just like this? And then what do you think Bitmain's going to do coming up shortly? Uh, and if you're getting one of these miners, one of the Ice River ones, Gold Shell ones, you have one. I'd love to hear from you too what your experience has been so far, what you're excited about, maybe what you're not excited about. And if you do, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm going to pick a random comment within a week of this video posting and I'll respond to you. We'll get back and forth in the email and I'll send you the hash rate of this A E I, no, E A E, whatever. Whatever this thing is, I'm going to send you the hash rate of it to your address for 24 hours. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on just this whole landscape right now. Um, and if you like this kind of stuff, I'll leave a video on the screen. You'll see it right here for the 
AE box, which is another offering from Gold Shell that I've, I've had a lot of fun with. And then, oh, the Gold Shell Bite, which I still think, people give me a hard time, I still think is a great entry into mining for anybody that wants to go further in crypto. I'll leave a video for that linked on the screen here as well. But as always, please take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in the next video.